what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, shared a video on Twitter of seniors clashing in support and in opposition of him with one pro-Trump supporter yelling, white power. The White House claimed that Trump didn't hear the white power statement. They went on to say that he was instead focused on the support that he was receiving from Florida's senior community. He said he was enthusiastic about the enthusiasm he was receiving from the seniors in the Florida community. Only one problem with that, fam. Number one, the white power statement was made within about eight seconds of the video. That is only about 26 seconds long. And it was made loud and clear. And if nobody else understands and can recognize the phrase white power, we know Donald Trump can. After all, his father was captured on, in a newspaper, on the front page of a newspaper at a Klan rally. It's in his lineage. It's in his bloodline. That's where he comes from. He's very familiar with white power. He has a lot of white power friends. Yeah, a lot of Confederacy friends. Oh yeah. This is why he went so hard on people toppling and vandalizing the statues and monuments because he wants to preserve that part of history which he considers great. When black people were slaves, that's what he loves. It is very close to his heart, those images and symbols. That's why he imposed a mandatory 10 year sentence minimum on people who destroy statues. This dude, he's not even trying to hide his racism. The president of the United States of America in 2020 tweeted, white power. Donald Trump loves his white power. He loves his white power constituents. He's a slave to them to an extent because sometimes you could tell he, he, it's like he want to do what's right but he's a slave to the people who voted for him. They're gonna hold his feet to the fire. And if he don't do what they want him to do, he might come up missing. See, he knows how they operate. He's been to the Klan meetings with his daddy. You know, his mama, you know, he was in the kitchen when his mama was, when they'd come in from a ride, you know, good old fashioned lynching doing something despicable, or even when they were just sitting there planning it in the kitchen at the table, you know how they did it. So raggedy mama walking around in a little old busted house coat, making sure that their bellies were full, they had something good to drink, motivate them. Probably gave his daddy some good sex on the way out. Well, like, it's hard to imagine good sex when you can produce somebody like Donald Trump but some sex before he left. What a despicable group of people. This dude, Donald Trump, again, family, I don't know if it can get any worse than him. This was not a dog whistle. This was a mega megaphone for hate. That tweet was a megaphone for hate. You don't accidentally tweet a video with the phrase white power in it. 
When you do that, it's deliberate. You know exactly what you're doing. Trump is an habitual line stepper. He likes to do what he wants to do and he don't mind apologizing. He'll apologize or he'll say, well, in fact, he won't even apologize. He'll just say he didn't, you know, it was an accident or it was somebody else's fault. It is ironic that the so-called law and order president does not abide by law and order. He knows nothing of it. White power. Looks like Trump has finally found a suitable campaign slogan. No more talk. What the haters talking about?